My name is Dr Cathy Coleman and I'm a cardiologist. Heart disease is the number one killer of Australian women. It kills three times as many women as breast cancer. Heart disease is often silent with no warning signs before a devastating heart attack. Half of the people who have a heart attack die before they get to hospital. This is why you need to find out if you're at risk. Many of the risk factors for heart disease are also silent, so unless you check for them, you won't know. There are several risk factors for heart disease. Some you can change and some you can't. You can't change your age. A woman's risk of heart disease increases at around the age of menopause and then continues to increase after that. And you can't change your family history. If you have a close family member who's been affected by heart disease, then your risk is increased. But there are many that you can change. High blood pressure, high cholesterol, high blood sugars, kidney disease, sleep apnea and depression are all conditions that can be managed under the guidance of your GP. Your lifestyle is also important. Smoking, being overweight or inactive or having a diet which is high in salt or saturated fat also increase your risk. 90% of Australian women have at least one risk factor for heart disease and over half have two or more. This is the reason why the Heart Foundation is encouraging all women to see their local doctor for a heart health check from the age of 45 or 35 if you're of Aboriginal or Torres Strait Islander descent because you're at increased risk. I would also recommend that anybody under 45 should go to see their doctor even if only once to check their heart risk. You can be fit and active and well with a healthy weight and no symptoms and still be at risk of heart disease from high cholesterol or high blood pressure due to genetic factors totally out of your control. A heart health check is done by your GP and usually takes about 15 minutes. They'll speak to you about any symptoms of heart disease, your family history, smoking, your weight, your diet and how physically active you are. They'll take your blood pressure and send you for blood and urine tests looking for high cholesterol, high blood sugars or kidney disease. It's important to be honest with your GP. If you think it's important, tell your doctor. You need to know your numbers. They are your blood pressure, your cholesterol and your waist circumference. High blood pressure increases your risk of heart disease and lowering your blood pressure reduces that risk. The guidelines recommend that your blood pressure should consistently be less than 140 over 90 millimetres of mercury. Cholesterol matters. Many people think that levels of over 5 are normal or not too bad. In fact, the evidence suggests that to reduce your lifetime risk of heart disease, your cholesterol level should be less than 4 with your LDL or bad cholesterol less than 2.5 or even lower if you have other risk factors for heart disease or known heart disease. For some people, high cholesterol is driven by genetics and no matter how well they eat or how much they exercise, they won't reach the target levels just simply because their bodies make too much cholesterol. The Heart Foundation supports the use of statin medications in people who are not at target levels despite diet and exercise. This is supported by strong scientific evidence. Waist circumference is closely linked with heart disease, with tummy fat more strongly associated than fat in other parts of the body. For women, your waist measurement should be less than 80 centimetres. For men, your number's 94. The last number is very simple, and this number is zero. Zero for cigarettes. Smoking is a terrible risk factor for heart disease, and quitting is the most important step that smokers can take to reduce their risk. Even a couple of cigarettes make a difference. Women who smoke one or two cigarettes a day are two and a half times more likely to die from a heart attack. The message is clear. A heart health check is the best way to find out your risk of heart disease. You do not want a heart attack to be the first sign that something is wrong. Having information about your own heart health gives you the power to make the changes that you need to. Heart disease is common and devastating. Please, take it seriously.